Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't guessed from the title, we are gonna look at my beautiful, beautiful purse. We are here today to talk to you about a Kate Spade Cameron Street purse. Now, if you do not know me by now, I was always, I'll give you a bit of a backstory. So I was a very simple Primark girl, new look girl, a uh, push, a River Island girl. And then one day I got treated to my very first Ted Baker bag. And yeah, it's kind of gone from there. I don't really buy expensive shoes. I feel like shoes, you can ruin. You could, I know you can ruin a bag and a purse and everything else, but yes. And I was always, into Ted Baker. I loved it. And then I've always had an obsession with diaries. And the one diary I fell in love with was this Kate Spade diary. And I couldn't get it out of my head. And I kept looking for it and it was so expensive and you can't get them in the UK. They're a nightmare to get a hold of in the UK. All you people, all, especially YouTubers and people in America that sit there and go, oh I went to the Kate Spade outlet and paid like $40 for a diary and it's so expensive. I'm like, oh I would pay double that because it would still be cheaper than what I picked. Anyway, I got my diary that I always wanted and I fell in love with Kate Spade. Like ridiculously fell in love with Kate Spade. So then next, I had to have one of her handbags. The most expensive eye handbag I own is a Kate Spade handbag and I love it. It's this beautiful hot pink but I love it. It's the best thing. I don't use it very often because it's quite a large bag and I wanted it because I didn't have a large bag. And then I wanted a <laughs> so I got the purse so today I thought I would do a look through and show you guys what it actually looks like now I don't know if this is picking up on camera I have a mark on mine I don't know if that's me picking it up with something in my hand and it's ruined it or not I'm not 100% sure but you can barely tell to be sure if you have to really know you see what I mean I don't know if anybody knows how to maybe sort that out or correct it, I would muchly appreciate it. But anyway, nonetheless, I went with a red purse. Don't know why. I don't like black. Like, I love black. Like, th there is a Kate Spade bag I want at the minute. It's a little black thing. I think it's called Hope. I love the blue version, but I feel like the black would go with more because that would be my going out bag. I'm weird. I have things for bags. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Okay, so I have a purse and I'm going to talk you through some of the things I absolutely love about it. So the first thing I love is this. The fact the clasp is completely metal. I love it. I, I love this about my diary. There's no there's none of them little farty bits that just you have to whip. No, I love it. Okay, so I went with red. You, there was a variety of colours. I was like, no, I want a bold purse. Life is for colour. And I'm not one that has to have matchy-matchy either. I don't have to have a matching handbag colour, no. Every one of my handbags is completely different. I've got a bright pink, I've got all the verses on, I've got a pink, I've got a blue, I've got a grey, and I've seen another one. And I think it's more like this. <laughs> a little bit. Anyway, right, so on the back of it, you do get a nice little slot and you have the Cameron Street design, which is the black and white stripes, which is the same as what is in my diary, if you've seen any of my videos. So it is a full zip around purse this retails for 168 pounds i don't know how much in dollars but it's 168 pounds it's a ridiculous amount of money to spend on a purse and i was told i was not allowed it for 168 pounds and then i was sat there on black friday and i ordered myself to make a coat I blame him, it's all his fault, right? So I have a Ted Baker coat. And then, you know what those stupid little adverts called? Because they know exactly what you've been looking for because that's the way the internet is designed to throw these things in your face that they know you've been looking at. Well, it knew I'd been looking at Kate Spade purses because it shoved this one in my face and said, hi, I've got 20% off at Kate Spade. So I was like, oh, babe, would you let me have 20% off it? He was like, no, I'm not paying more than a hundred pounds for a purse. I was like, what if I pay the extra? No. He says, paying more than 100 quid for a purse is ridiculous. He says, when I can add an extra 100 quid to that and probably get you near enough a handbag, I'm not paying that for a purse. I was like, you've got a point. So, this is like a story time. So anyway, I was carrying on searching and I was looking for a discount code because that's what the internet's for. I was looking for a discount code for a present for somebody and it flashed up that in the house of Fraser, Kate Spade had 40% off. And I was like, no. <laughs> Anyway, long story short, it was £100.80. I text my partner like, are you buying it me? Because if not, my overdraft is paying for it. End of. So, when you open it up, this is what it looks like. So, I'm going to go through it. So, 
We'll start at the back, which I actually use as my front, which sounds like weird. I know, I kind of open my purse, and the way I hold it, this is the first bit I come to. So, you get a very generous pocket at the back. You can also, to make your life easier, just flip the zip over, which, if you are collecting, it's like me, saving stamps for Christmas. Yes, I collect saving stamps for Christmas because I have a blowout when I have anything I want. And when I say anything, I mean I have anything I want. There is a decent pocket at the back with your stripes in. In front of that, there are six slots. I'm actually missing a card from there. I borrowed it to somebody. And you have a nice, generous size pocket. You then have another generous size pocket, which has got a few receipts in for me. You then have a zip, and this is what I meant by the little farty zippy bits. I don't like this. I wish they'd run a mini version on the other side. And in there, I just keep all of my money, which is just basically some pound coins, because I've never got pennies in here, because I always give to my daughter to put in the money box. After that section, you have another section, which on the reverse side has another six card holders, and then you have at the back, I just flip it around, you're right, another massive slot which i use this side for more saving stamps and like the stupid little like postage stamps and car places and mini key fobs because i'm finding there's a lot of these bad boys around at the minute it's my tier one which yeah we're not even gonna go down like so i'll just rant about that so yeah that is pretty much the look through on it i absolutely love this purse you can fit so much in it the zip is beautiful it's tight enough to hold it together but it is just so oh it's like butter it's like cutting through butter with a hot knife the corners are a bit more tough and then it just glides i love it it is the best purse i've ever owned and let me tell you i have owned some purses but yeah that's it i hope you guys everything's gonna fall out when took a suit going everything that is everything in there and it is such a decent sized purse, but it's not too big. Like, if I was to tell you, it's an average sized purse. Like, it's no bigger than any purse I've ever owned, but it seems to have more in it. I freaking love it. The only thing I'm going to say that I love, but is I love this little bit. But at the same time, I hate it because when I put it into my handbag at work, my work handbag, this just fits it this kind of sometimes can get stuck or it'll go up which is quite often what happens because i'll just the way i slot it in it'll just be pushed with the handbag and it'll go up but then when i try to get it out because it's in the upright position it tends to get caught on the inside of the bag and i can't pull it out because there's no room to maneuver it it yeah that's the only downfall to it but i freaking love this purse do not pay £168 for it. You will definitely, if you're in England anyway, you'll definitely find it on sale for at least £100 and 80p. That is what I paid. I got 40% off it and I absolutely love this purse. And plus, it's like one of those purses that you can fit your phone in it if you empty it. If you've got no change in it, you can empty it and you can fit your phone in it. And maybe you could just use it as like a nice little clutch bag because it is so beautiful, it deserves to be shown off. So that was the end of the look through. I'm sorry I rambled for so long. It was kind of like a story time for me today. But yes, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have made it this far and you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Click over in the top corner to check out one of my latest videos and click over in the bottom corner to see a video that YouTube has selected for you. I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. Take care. I'll see you in a few days with another one and bye-bye.